Thank you. Thank you. Praise God, Paul. It's great to be with you today. It's just what an honor. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Well, we are just honored to have you here. And we're coming to you from Suncoast Worship Center here yes. in Englewood, Florida, where you just had a dynamic service. Oh, powerful service with Pastor Williams. I'm telling you, these yes. women about wore me out, brother. I'm <laughs> telling you, their, their worship, their enthusiasm, their hunger for God. Yes. And, uh, of course, the, the anointing that is, it resides here in this church with Pastor yes. Williams is just amazing. When you walk in, there, there's just no work, brother. You just step exactly. into it and catch up. And so it's, it's just amazing what God is doing in women and yes. how the Holy Spirit is pouring His Spirit out yes. as the prophet said would happen in the last days. Yes. And that's what we're seeing. Amen. And you're a last day forerunner, in my opinion. And Praise I would God. like to, for you, for those that maybe are not familiar with you all over the world that are watching, why don't you briefly share a little bit about your journey and who God's made you to be? Well, you know what? I love to talk about where I came from because I come from a very strong background, mm -hmm. uh, a culture of prayer and, and uh, the Bible and church. My mom and dad had 12 kids, wow. eight girls, four boys, and uh, I'm the baby of this 12. Mm -hmm. And so there were seven of us girls that used to go around singing and ministering and um, just, just really worshiping God. And um, God had his hand upon my life at a very early age. I was baptized in the power of the Holy Spirit when I was 12 years old. God just mm -hmm. began to, I had an incredible experience, uh, Paul, where for three days mm -hmm. I spoke in a, in a prayer language and couldn't eat, couldn't sleep. Mm -hmm. And I really believe that God was preparing me for the journey that I'm on right now, mm -hmm. where I'm seeing countless souls being saved, lives being changed, mm -hmm. people being set free, delivered, walking in their destiny, walking in their purpose. And so when God did that in my life, God put me on a journey where I went to school to study music, uh, graduated from school, joined a group, and um, started ministering literally around the world. Mm. And then God called me out of that group and put me in a solo ministry. I met my husband. <laughs> we got married and had some babies and, yeah. <laughs> and started ministering. And, and now God just opened up some tremendous doors mm. through television and so many other areas, recording and yes. so many things that God has done. And uh, just the, the opportunity to see what God is doing in these last days, to live out prophecy, yeah. where the Bible says, in the last day I will pour my spirit out upon all flesh. Your right. sons and your daughters right. <laughs> shall prophesy. And you know, Paul, that word prophesy means to, to proclaim. Right. It means to testify. And, you know, not, not necessarily get behind a pulpit and <laughs> open up your Bible and, and you have three points, you know. That's but right. It means to declare and to proclaim and to prophesy. Proclaim the good news mm -hmm. that Jesus Christ is alive, that Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, can change yes. your life, can give you joy, can give you peace, can give you life and life abundantly. Yeah. And that's what I want to proclaim to the nations of the earth, that Jesus is God. And there is no God like Jehovah. He okay. is the supreme God. He is the one true living God. Okay. He lives and reigns forever. And I am so blessed to be able to go from, from church to church, from conference to conference, from nation to nation, mm -hmm. proclaiming who God is, what He is, and that He is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power of God that works within us. I am just so thankful for my mom and my dad yes. who raised me up in that culture. Well, we're just so thankful because you've definitely carried out a, being a witness of Jesus Christ, and we're grateful for that. Praise God. And so tell us a little bit about, if you would, your, uh, you know, your book, that you have a new book that has recently come out, if you would share about that, and maybe your television show, some other things that God has yes. called you to, your well, other ministries you do. First of all, I, I'm very thankful to be on, on this network today, and then the affiliate, the affiliate that is reaching all uh, Latin American and so many other nations mm -hmm. on, uh, through TBN, the Church Channel, and so many other uh, avenues. But um, we do have a program on the Church Channel every Monday night, Friday night, and Saturday night. Mm -hmm. So I would encourage people to go to our website at judyjacobs.com. Mm -hmm. You can find out more information about uh, where we're going to be, what our schedule is, what God is doing. But, um, you know, I wrote a book uh, called Take It By Force. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. Mm -hmm. We have the power and the authority through the name of Jesus, through the word of God, through the prayer of agreement and through uh, uh, the blood of Jesus to take back by force 
everything that Satan has stolen from us. We have that power, right. Paul. We have that authority. Jesus says, I'm going to give you power to tread upon serpents, upon scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy. That's right. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead, brother, it's in my eight-year-old. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's in my ten-year-old. I have That's two right. girls. My husband and I have two girls. That's right. But the same power, the same unction that got him up from the grave mm -hmm. is in every person who is watching this broadcast today, whether yes. you're male, female, Jew, Greek, bond or free. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that same glory, that same power is available to you. So I wrote this book, The Kingdom of Heaven Suffers Violence, The Violent Take It by Force, force, force uh, by Force rather. You know, you take it back by believing the Word of God through prayer, through fasting. You take it back by pleading the blood over your children. And then there were so many miracles that took place, so many testimonies of people. And I got to the end of that book and I thought, this book is not finished. And I, I thought, I'm going I'm to be able to write this thing off of my, of my to-do list because I love marking my to-do list off. Right, you know? that's right, that's right. So, but whenever I got to the end of the book, I thought, mm -hmm. what do you do after you have done everything? You've taken it back. You've pleaded the blood. You've, you stood on the word. You've, you've given. You've seated. You've done everything. Every, you prayed, you fasted, you've done everything possible, mm. and nothing has happened. Yes. What do you do? And then I wrote a book called Stand. You mm. stand strong. That's Ephesians right. 6.10. That's right. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Mm -hmm. You've got to be strong. You've got to stand on that word that God has given you. Right. You've got to stand. And that's what we've been doing through, through conferences, with our Press Push Pursue conferences. Mm -hmm. We've been doing that with our International Institute of Mentoring, where we're standing strong with men and women who have a call of God on your life. And if you're listening today yes, and you have a call of God on your life, I want to tell you, <laughs> you need to go to our website at judyjacobs.com and tune in and look at that International Institute of Mentoring where men and women are coming to be mentored, to be poured into, to be laid hands on, to be imparted with the giftings that God has placed in you to raise you up, to become the mighty man and woman of God mm. that God is destined for you to do and God is destined for you to be. But God is doing so many great and awesome things through television, through our books, through our conferences, through this International Institute of Mentoring. We're in a building program where yes. we're, we're raising a building up to train these men and women who are coming from the nations, Paul, mm. because I really believe when Jesus left this earth, the yeah. last thing he said was he said, go and make disciples. That's right. Go and preach mm. the good news of the gospel that I am alive, and that's what we're doing through this wonderful work that God has called us to. That is so awesome, Sister Judy. And we're about to see one of your songs that you're known for, Days of Elijah. Yes, Why don't you powerful. share briefly a little bit of how that came about, and oh, I love we'll get that ready song. to watch it here in a second. I love that song, Paul, because <laughs> it is really the anthem of the body of Christ. Mm. Thank God for Robin Mark. I love you, Robin Mark. He wrote that song. He's from <laughs> Ireland. Okay. But you know what? It is an anthem to the body of Christ. Behold, he comes. Mm. riding on a cloud, mm. you know, and the Bible says, and every eye will see him, you know, right, right. At, at the trumpet call, it's your time for jubilee, you got to believe that this is your time, That's this right. is your season, this is your moment that God is destined, it is time to rise up and, 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 and proclaim that this is my year of jubilee, and these are the days that Jesus told us will come to pass. And this is what we're seeing. I love this song because it talks about the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's going to lift your spirit. It's going to lift your heart. That's right, friend. We'll be right back with you. Stay tuned.
are the days of your servant Moses, righteousness being restored. And though these are days of great trial, a famine and darkness and sore, still we are the voice in the desert crying. There's no God like Jehovah. 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 There